Ano sa na dito? Dito han? Ano sa na? Long queue for the taxi. It's like almost a kilometer long. <laughs> Then, let's start with the building behind you, the Teatro Real, the Royal Theater. First of all, Real doesn't mean real, okay? Doesn't mean we have a fake theater and a real theater. Real means royal. The Royal Theater, the Royal Palace, the Royal Madrid, the football team. We have a fake football team and the real soccer team. Real okay? is royal. This building over here, you can walk around one way to the tour, all this block. It was finished in 1808. And the event has been running non-stop. Every two months, they change the building. You can see what's going on in September or October. Not much. But in winter time, there are more things going on. Theater, opera, music, comedian, flamenco. Salud. Salud. Oh, this eggplant? Oh. It's a common dish in there, mm. and it's very simple to make at home. It's simply delicious. Deep fried yeah. egg, please, not the red. It's too red. I'll be okay. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Sorry about that. So, um, this one is deep fried eggplant. On toast. I know it might look like tomato, but it's a charcuterie, it's a kind of dish that's from this island, Mallorca. Mallorca. If, you, if, you like, if you like tennis, Mallorca. you know, Rafa Nadal. Mallorca. Oh, from there. from Mallorca. 
It's like foie gras, you know foie gras? Ah. With the pork liver. Yeah, liver. It's made with pork stomach. Mm. Mm. It's so tasty, right? Yeah. So it's pork stomach with mm -hmm. tomato sauce and paprika. Wow. Yeah. And it is this is now the tapa experience, tapas, yeah. Yes. Like fried chips, and more food is coming now. Mmm, so good. Saan yung calamaris mo? Eating calamari sandwich. So, with the Jorge, the eat. travel guy. We're gonna do this in the, the best calamari uh, at tapas mm -hmm. tour guide, tour guide. we ever place. had. <laughs> so, ito yung mga Pilipina. Pilipino. Oh. Pero US based. Based. US based sila. Oh. Please like subscribe. Yeah, ring the bell. Yeah. Ring the bell. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Oh, honey pie. Yeah. The walled city of Toledo. Up there. This river, guys, is the uh, biggest river in all Iberia Peninsula. And goes, as I said, all the way to Lisbon, to the sea. Okay, wow. And it's the third <laughs> extent in the world. Well, uh -huh. so it's very nice, and see the because of the dry season is a very low, a low. You can see. Yeah, not much water. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my God! You have to use escalators. <laughs> wow, and it's in the middle of nowhere, here yeah, in Spain. Wow. Synagogue. Church there. Synagogue, yeah. yeah. Synagogue, and then a, a Catholic like church a and Muslim mm -hmm. uh, church. Wow. Olive plantation. Here in Toledo. <laughs> oh, it's just the time for them. <laughs> wow. Solar plantation.
little video. Ha. Huh. Ayun ko lang alam ito. We are now in the middle of Granada. City of Granada. We're looking for a place to have our dinner. Ani pai. Naka dual video. <laughs> dual video. May video sa akin, may video sa iyo. Yung sa wine? Ay, ay, ay. Churros, not chef. Ano pa, this is their breakfast, not, not snacks. I have two more. This one, with the mushroom. Okay. It has to be with chikwate. Yeah, but this way I'm going to get it from now. So good. Spanish breakfast. Mm. Yummy. <laughs> Day two here in Gran Luna de Granada. This is our breakfast galore. Going out already for our trip to Alhambra. Alhambra. Right, tita? Tita Bia. Hello. This is your what? Fourth trip? Fourth trip? Third, third. third trip with Expat Explore. Ito yung idol Lodi ko, Lodi. <laughs> In our second day. I mean third. We're going to Alhambra. We have Americans, Mexicans, and mostly Filipinos coming from the U.S. and Canada for this uh, expat explore, explore family. Start of the Alhambra tour. It's a two and a half guided tour. The second most visited place in Spain. The place of the Benito Calaro. <laughs> it's the start of the world city.
kaway kaway naman dyan. <laughs> Hi, Filipino people. <laughs> this, we have marami kaming Pilipino dito. Almost 20, 20 packs. <laughs> This is the Alhambra Palace. This is the wine gate. In the walled city. It's here. <laughs> it's the entrance entrance to the Alhambra um, Palace We are about to enter the palace, Alhambra Palace. Okay, na honey pie. There's no picture but Allah. Ah, okay. This is a uh -huh. uh -huh. The motto of the Nasri Sultan's Islam. There is no victor but Allah. There's no victor but Allah. We can bring the kingdom of the power and the, the kingdom of the glory and the power belongs to Allah. Wow. Uh huh. Allah. Uh huh. Surahs from the Quran, surahs are phrases from the Quran. We have poems, descriptions of the palaces, uh, 
victories yeah. of the Satyam, so that's the idea. The Alhambra tells the stories mm -hmm. through the description. Yeah. But suddenly you can see a strange marks over here. Because it's true that the place was a Muslim tree during the last century, the Satyam's time. But when the Catholic monarchs are right here, the place became a chapel. What a crazy mm. thing. And that time was. inside the Alhambra Palace. The second most beautiful palace in the world. And this is Rommel. <laughs> The most Christian part of the palace. Por 
19th century. Impressive decorations of the Sultan. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful landscape. This is outside Alhambra Palace. This is a world heritage place, Alhambra just outside of the Alhambra Palace. This is part of the Alhambra Palace. Oh, that's the Sacromonte Ave, Abbey. That's the one. It's a walled place. We are now going out of the Alhambra Palace to go to another one. <laughs> we are under the maple tree. Oh, maple, walnut. Maple syrup. Relaxing after a two and a half hour tour of the Alhambra Palace. They went straight ahead for another 30 minutes tour. But we opted to just sit here, enjoy the cool breeze. <laughs> huh? Six kilometers? Oh my gosh, I cannot walk another six kilometers. Yeah, and enjoy the view of the city of Andalusia. The wall of... What a beautiful city of Granada. Leaving Granada for Seville. This uh, tower was built, as you can see, is by the river. It was uh, built as a watch tower. Watch tower for watching the river, for watching the people that was entering the city through the river. Um, the name is uh, the Golden Tower because of the reflection of the tiles uh, existing on the top part of the tower on the on the river. But it has nothing to do with gold. Panoramic they were tour of, gold. of they the were, city of yes, Seville, uh, tiles, um, yellow Spain. tiles. Um, we are 80 kilometers away from the ocean, from the mouth. So the mouth of the river is 80 kilometers from here. The mouth of the ocean is at the at the, by the Atlantic Ocean. Is at the province of Cadiz. On the left, look at the building on your left. This is one of the most spectacular, uh, spectacular buildings in the city. It's Saint Telmo's Palace. Saint it was Saint built Saint in, the eight, in the 17th century, century as a university mm. for navigators, mm, for mm. sailors, for seafarers. This city, uh, so the Golden Tower, uh, the Golden Age, granted the monopoly on trade with uh, with America. So all the big ships, all the big galleons were getting here, were getting mm. the the city throughout mm. the river. So um, the we had the monopoly on trade with America for more than 200 years. That's why we needed the uni an university for those mm. sailors that were uh, setting sail from oh. here. And 
And nowadays is the site for the president of the uh, of Andalusia. Andalusia, as you know, is one of the regions of the Spain. Spain has Spain is split into seventeen regions, seventeen autonomous communities. One of the so one of the biggest ones is Andalusia, and Seville is the capital city. Okay. Uh, Seville is the capital city of Andalusia. We are going to see some buildings that were made for one of the. She owned uh, these plots as well on the left. So she owned this park. She donated the park to the city before before leaving us, <laughs> before passing. Um, that's why the name. Maria Luisa Park. Some of the pavilions built for the, the Ibero-American exhibition were, were built Lovely. inside the park. No, for example, no, the no. Spain Square. Um, we are going to see one more pavilion. On the right, we are going to see the Colombian Pavilion. Look at the beautiful tiles that you will find on your right. Uh, each uh, country um, had to build. Uh, they used to build their own buildings. They used the architects. They used even their their own materials brought from the different countries. In this mm -hmm. case. Colombian pavilion on the right. <coughs> Nowadays, is the consulate, the consulate of Colombia. Even now, we have an important uh, harbor, commercial harbor. Huh? Okay. Wow, this is nice. This is Flamingo Cathedral, the Cathedral of the Flamingo. And it is a seated dinner. So, Santa Ida Dalhini, I know, guy. To the origin of Flamingo in Seville. Cheers. We are now in the beach side of Algarve. We can finally eat some fish and seafoods. The weather is perfect. The breeze is cool. Finally, we are now at the Lady of Fatima Shrine. Here in Lisbon, Portugal. Well, I think it's a different uh, place now here. This is the third most uh, go-to or pilgrimage by the Catholic. And since we're here already, so we will... Uh... Hello, honey pie. Hi. Here we are at the shrine of the Lady of Fatima here in Portugal. Thank you, Mama Mary. Nakadating kami sayo. The grandeur of the Basilica de Fatima. 
We will go inside the church. Basilica. Look how many are the tourists coming here. Even on not on her feast day. It's like every day people come here. And my honey pie is here. <laughs> Thank you, Our Lady of Fatima, for this once-in-a-lifetime experience of coming to your place of apparition. That's the new chapel. This is one of the best highlights of this Spain and Portugal trip. Next stop, Lady of Lords in France. Thank you, Mama Mary. I love you, Mama Mary. And please take care of us always, my family and my relatives and friends, especially those who have illnesses. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Hanipai coming from the big cross of Jesus Christ. Success. That's a nice one. They okay lang unya na han. Unya na masarap ka dito. Oh. Ani na? Ganda lang. Oh, ganda ng bugin villas. Para kung It's a quaint town. I think it's a tourist spot. Very, very small town. Oh, oh yeah. Yung sa, ito yung kay Mama Mary. Look, the three children home. Our Lady of Fatima appeared too. Francesca, Maria, and Franz, uh, Francisco, Jacinta, and Maria. Nice. Beautiful. <laughs> Ate Mona, you have to come here. Look. She has a museum for their... Uh, their jewelry. Oh, my gulai. Look at these ladies. You, you need to try. It's all, all the uh, handmade. It's very hard work. Uh -huh. This threads, uh, I tell you there, is this thread, is the same they, oh. in this book, in this bills. All handmade. It's a beautiful wow. work. Can I check the earrings? Look yes, at of that. course. Not. Sorry? Okay. Oh, wow. oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. It's very, very beautiful. This is the city of Porto. Later on, we're going to have a, uh, a boat ride along the River Duro. 
right below and we're going to pass by six bridges oh wow so the difference is in the vats Holy. Mm -hmm. and all rubies have the same color no? mm -hmm. and, and the town starts with this color the first two years has this color and then we, when we move it into the, the small barrels it changes oh, so the material is the same uh, okay. the only difference is the dimension so the big vats can have uh, um, uh, the first one had 23,000 uh, liters wow. a small barrel uh, can have between 200 and maximum 700 oh. liters so wow. it's quite a big difference no? uh, so the contact with the wood in the barrel is much, much bigger and the second reason why the, the wine changed so much uh, in everything is because uh, in the small barrels we leave this space uh, free so in the big in the big vats it's totally full mm -hmm. and, and the Ito siguro yung gusto mangyari ni Senator Robin Padilla na meron tayong cable cars in Metro Manila. the center of Garda. Here's the magnificent church. And that's the king of Portugal. We are now here in Salamanca and the start of our walking expedition <laughs> at 5.30 p.m. And still very hot. <laughs> We're going to have our formal dinner because this will be the last night we will be together. It's tomorrow we're going back to Madrid. Huh. What an eight day of amazing race type of traveling. <laughs> Expat explore pa more. <laughs> it's our farewell dinner with the friends that we gained for the last eight days from all over. So there are about 45 people in here and uh, almost 20 are Filipinos. And we have a nice couple from South Carolina. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and my honey pie. The, the tenderloin is good, Consume. steak is really good. Yeah. He consumed it. It's, it's <laughs> not enough. <laughs> there should be more. <laughs> We are now in the walled city of Avila, built in 1100s. This is the city of stones and saints. Wow, look at those walls. High rise. <laughs> or bala or whatever. Hello, Avila. Inside the walled city of Avila.
Hi Benito. Hi Annabella. <laughs> Thank you.